celebrating black artists here in Boston. The 2024 Hella Black Live Mixtape will showcase dancers, music, spoken word, and visual art at the Boston Center for the Arts. Joining us now is curator Amanda Shea and Michaela Cowie. Thank you so much for being here on The Mix. Thank you so yeah. much for having us. Tell us how the event got started. Yeah, so it was created by former BCA Senior Director of Programming, Lindsay Allen Cox, in 2019 to pretty much just create a space for black artistry to exist and live authentically. Um, and now in its sixth year, we've grown um, exponentially and it will be in the BCA Cyclorama, which is a thousand person venue. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. What can people expect when they go? What, what, tell us a little bit about um, the event as a whole. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> it's going to have so many different elements to it. We have, it's full production. We have so many different types of mediums. So you're going to see some poetry, you're going to see some dance. I don't want to give up too much, <laughs> okay. too much, but it's going to be a really cool show. I'm really excited. You're partnering with dozens of artists. What does mm -hmm. that selection process look like for you guys? Difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Boston has a plethora of amazing, talented mm -hmm. artists, so the application process was definitely difficult. Mm -hmm. We had about 54 applicants this year, so trying to narrow that down to seven was a wow. little difficult, but I think we did a really good job. Yeah, and we do it via open call. Um, so the open call will stay open for about six weeks, um, and then we narrow it down based off of kind of Amanda's, um, what she's looking for, what the theme is, and things like that. If this isn't something that someone might normally go to, what's the pitch, that, how, how is this good for everyone, even if it's something you might not think is sort of your jam? Why, why would this be good for someone who's never been to something like this before? Hmm, that's a really good question. I think if you are immersed in the arts and you've never had a plethora of arts in the same center, mm -hmm. I think it would be a really good experience. Not only that, but it's a really good place to see community of artists. Mm -hmm. These are all people who live in Boston and they're super talented, like I said before. So I think that it would be really cool for people to come out and enjoy it. And also like it's black people being able to tell our stories authentically, unapologetically. So I think people need to come and get educated and entertained. I love it supporting your community too and something, yeah. you know, maybe I'm not good at it, but I want to come <laughs> to see talented people do it and support my community in the yeah. process. Well, we so often come and see artists who come here and visit who aren't from here. So important to embrace the people who are actually here mm -hmm. doing the art. Um, this kicks off in just a week on April 8th. How can people get tickets? If you go to bostonarts.org, um, there will be a, a landing page that says Hello Black right on it and you can purchase tickets there. So cool. And today we actually have a sneak peek of what you can expect from the upcoming performances. Joining us live right now in studio, D. Ruff, with a spoken word performance. Sometimes we artists hear how opportunity is on the other side of a door. All you have to do is knock. And it takes a while to knock. Watch friends stock opportunity like prey. Pray opportunity cracks a door open like a Bible. Jealous opportunity was blessing them. So me on stage at this door knocking is for more than the desire to be held by open ears. With all the power to push past pain and walk, not crawl up here with crown held high. But what does that have to do with you, right? You're not interested, especially when I chose this life. I don't get paid hourly or salary, juggling trust and timing just to hear how I disturbed your routine and you think I'm lying, even when this is my way of crying. See, opportunity makes me work and opportunity makes sure it hurts because when you're qualified, it shatters your breaking point. So when you succeed, you value victory and can testify. Let it amplify, embracing rejection like long lost friends. Because in life, you'll lose friends and reject the idea those relationships have soured and have reached their worst. And what's worse, the elements are unforgiving. I can rain tears, hail my troubles, and shine light on these fears, but no one cares. Work harder is the model we live with these years. So me knocking, performing with the swiftness, is to wake opportunity like an eight-year-old on Christmas and not looking for forgiveness. When the gift is experiences money can't buy, 
Miles within a journey you really can't drive. So I knock with determination in my eyes, rebuilding after clearing the bull I've let cluster up inside. Being unaccountable and collecting debt. Disappearing after letting people take my light <laughs> like the power plants in Massachusetts. I've comfortably let opportunity go and said she'll return. But when she did, I ended up burned selfishly entitled when I got my desires till I hit rock bottom and smothered my fires. It took timing and healing, keeping love in a close distance to God further from remission. Knocking, this knocking performance is me reinforcing my decision. I knock. Cause my art it, and the place where I bleed, I knock cause of my heart. Tired of the pain I've caused my sons to receive, I knock cause my car that was at one place, my home, I knock cause of my rent and not wanting my car to be my home. I knock cause of the people I've disappointed in every aspect. I knock cause I'm hurting, shedding blood just to pay off my debts. I knock cause I can heal, I will heal so the true me can be revealed. I knock so I know the struggle and I can really give you a better deal. I knock cause I'm qualified and that's the reason why I'm here. It's kinda harsh out in this world opportunity. So I'ma stand inside this door right here.